This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And we got a trick or treat cam. We got candy. We have bait outside the window, <laughs> and we never know what's going to come by. Uh, we've already had uh, somebody getting yelled at. We already had at least five Batmans, and uh, I think there was a, I think there was a porta potty that went by earlier today. But we got with us in the studio our awesome crew. First of all, Katie Dudas of the Scare House. Hi. There is your <laughs> there is your title. Hi. Hi. Okay. That's me. You have fully recovered off of a uh, regular uh, Scare House season recovering. Yes. Uh, one more weekend and I get a break. And it's lights out. Yes. Yeah, that's Just right. a glow stick. Walk through in the dark. And it was really awesome. And thank you. Thank you for letting me come out and, and, and hang out and scare people. In, yeah. the, in the mattress room here last week. That was great. You did really well from what I heard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they really liked you. Thanks. That's awesome. Uh, I've always wanted to do that. I seriously have always wanted to do that. It's just I never, the schedule never, I felt like it never was going to work out. But uh, it was awesome to get a little taste of that. So also with us, Ron Krause is with us on the couch. How's he's, it going? He's David Lee Roth for the night. <laughs> if you're not on the video versions, yes, we are costumed out. I'm, uh, I'm rocking the Michelangelo. Uh, he's a... Uh, Yes, I, I don't know, know what I am. You know what? Well, don't worry about it. You're, you're, the David Lee Roth can work out for tonight okay. uh, because you know what that is, and we'll show you what you actually are later. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Katie's doing the kitty thing. I'm a kitty really, with bat hips. Yeah, bat battier kind of <laughs> thing going on. It's mixed messages, mm-hmm. but um, but anyways, then of course producer Missy's hanging out with us as well. Hello, hi. She's she's playing the producer. I thought you were going to wear a mask. I was going to, but then I realized my glasses and my nose don't like masks. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's a problem. Uh, but anyways, this is the Awesome Cast where we talk about tech things over at AwesomeCast.com. Please subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook page for Awesome Cast. You can join us at 7 p.m. Eastern Time at live.awesomecast.net. Or we're streaming on a lot of different places, including the Awesome Cast Facebook, the YouTube, uh, Twitch TV for the Sorgatron Media, and as well as our Periscope for Awesome Cast 2 uh, to make sure you guys can jump in wherever you would like to. So thank you, everybody, that's dropping in here throughout the night. And uh, like I said, it's going to be kind of interesting because we're going to see a lot of uh, trick-or-treaters going by. And we and right after, as soon as we're done with this, there's going to be a, a parade outside uh, of the trick-or-treaters too. Ooh. So we're going to be able to check that out here around 8 o'clock. So we got a little bit of a... Uh, we got a little bit of a uh, 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 hard out here to check that out. But anyways, uh, thanks to our streaming partners, of course, RiversEdgePGH.com. Uh, these guys here, if you're with us here before the show on the live streams on Tuesdays, uh, we they're uh, replaying our show on Saturdays at 9 a.m. or apparently whenever they want sometimes, as I've been finding on the feed. Uh, also, our friends at The405Media.com uh, are playing us at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. And that's, uh, of course, noon Eastern here. If you're in Pittsburgh... Also, as my voice is going, because I've been a little bit on the sick side, uh, thank you to our Patreon supporters, patreon.com slash awesomecast, our friends Matt Weller at the Coffee Club, $5 level, uh, he gets the uh, the awesomecast gold, and uh, and of course at the uh, $1 fan of the show level, our friend Michael Fedor, at Mike Fedor show on the Twitter, and that was Matt1T underscore Weller on the Twitter as well, hit him up, and we also have a $10 level where we do the state of the show address. And we call, uh, I know we call it the Pizza Club over on the other one. And of course, uh, if you want to be our executive producer at $20 a month, and uh, you'll be getting some special stuff, including uh, uh, ex- executive producer credit in our notes, as well as uh, business cards after four consecutive months of being on that plan. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for supporting the show, literally helping keep the lights on here and sometimes buying candy for trick-or-treaters. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, uh, let's get into our awesome things of the week. And I'm going to adjust this mask that is like tickling the, the bottom of my eyelids. This is really weird over here. Katie, what's your awesome thing of the week? Hey, I'm going to throw it in the dock right as we speak. Isn't oh, that amazing? Oh, well, maybe I should talk and toss it to, to Ron. <laughs> well, my awesome thing of the week is my new phone. 
as you guys all know, I'm yeah, an Android guy. We heard about it last week. So I have the Pixel 2 XL. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, this is the screen, the burning uh, screen phone. It's the bad picture phone. Um, but I have to say, so far, I'm pretty pleased with the results. And that's not to say that I was not nervous by some of the reviews and things that came out. But at, late last week, Google came out and announced that for every one of these devices that was sold, they're going to inc- extend the uh, manufacturer's warranty to two years. Made me feel a little more comfortable because I was actually ready to give them a call and be like, hey, guys, you know, should I return this? Should I keep it? I wasn't really sure what I should do. Um, but so far, I really do enjoy the phone. I love the fact that it's, um, you know, vanilla Android. Um, for the work I do, the you know, it, like you say, for John Big Bank International, mm-hmm. um, I'm already enrolled in a beta program for Android, the latest version of Android, which is on, installed on here. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, so I personally like the phone, but as we were talking before the show, you know, I'm still running a 720p TV at home, so maybe <laughs> I'm not the best judge of coloring and all that stuff. But for what I do so far, I don't have any complaints whatsoever. Well, I think you can find fault. I I, I do agree. I think people are a little overbearing when it says you know when they're talking about quality and things like that. It looks fine if you're just having it in front of you. It looks fine, right? And you're not like crazy photographer or anything like that, yeah. like you were saying, right? Yeah, I would hold it up to the screen longer, but I don't think that does any justice. No, 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 yeah. you're not gonna see it. But um, but generally, like in person, it looks it looks amazing. Yeah. So I I, would, I'm, I love the look of OLED uh, screens like that. Yep. And I am getting a case for it right now. It's caseless. <laughs> but in fact, it should be shipping from Amazon tonight. So. Good. Good. Awesome. And, oh, and I also, since the last time I was on the show, if you remember, John harassed me for using a iPad. I now have the Pixel C <laughs> Android tablet mm-hmm. with the... Um, the dot well the case i guess if you want to call it so it's a keyboard case that you can uh here let me unlock it so you can take a picture so keyboard case Mm -hmm. it's it's basically an overpriced android tablet it wasn't cheap i'll be honest Um, but I wanted it and, and, you know, I work very hard for a living, so I spent some money on myself. But it it really is kind of the, the MacBook of, you know, of Android devices. devices, Yes, it is. is 100%. So why not? Yeah. Good. I mean, but I mean, you're, you're experiencing none of the weird little things that you get from a cheap Android tablet or anything like that. Right. But again, another reason I bought it was for almost the exact same reason that I bought the, the phone. It's a pure Android device. Um, guaranteed updates for three years. Um, you know, this, this device is not in the beta program yet, but if I wanted to enroll in the beta program, I could. Yeah. Um, so again, it just keeps me on that bleeding edge of Android so that when my customers at work, you know, are start rolling into that, I already have some experience yeah, yeah. and I can let them know what to expect and things like that. Perfect. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. And it's a sweet looking device too. Yeah, like I, it really is. Like I kind of yeah. wish I could snag one like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, no, that's awesome, especially the keyboard on there and everything. Yeah. Thanks. So, yep. Yeah. All right, Katie. What is your awesome thing of the week? So you may have seen this tease before on eBay, where you were able to take a photo of something somebody was wearing or something you saw out. It is now officially live. Oh, cool. It's called Find It on eBay and Image Search. So essentially, you can either take a picture of something you see or, you know, somebody walking by or take a screenshot or something you see on your computer. And it'll be able to search eBay to find the item for you with Image Search, mm. which is super cool. This seems like an Amazon-y kind of thing. Very, it? very. So, but I mean, you know, I don't think of eBay as just a place I go shopping. And I know they've done a lot of, a lot of changes about that since I've probably been on there a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, because I do not spend a lot of time on eBay. Mm. I used to before, but now I don't as much. But maybe this kind of stuff will push us back towards eBay instead of Amazon. Maybe, maybe for me, it mm. always seems like things like came off kind of sketchy over there. You know, with technology and video games and things like that. I know uh, Chachi has started playing a game of buying lots of Nintendo and completely under uh, Nintendo games and completely undercutting them. 
and seeing what he can get out of it. So, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, that's what I think of eBay as, you yeah. know, yeah. so, uh, but so it's pretty much just doing a, a kind of image matching situation. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's really cool because especially when you're out and about and you're like, oh, that's really neat. Where did they get that? Have you, <laughs> have you used this feature yet? No. Uh-uh. no. I think you, maybe you should take a picture of Ron's hair over there. Yeah. I'd be like, what are and you? And see if that yeah, comes up. See if it shows yeah. Up. So is this, so is this just built in the app? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it should be ready to go. Maybe we'll mm-hmm. have to play with that for gold or something. So, one of the other people I work with at, P- at the bank, um, <laughs> they uh, he is a big eBay buyer, mm-hmm. and I don't know if it's because I subscribe to um, Prime, but Prime is just my default location to buy everything. Oh, absolutely, Amazon but, like, Prime. Yeah, one of the B- Bluetooth headsets that I own. I actually want to buy it on eBay because he found it at like this remarkably cheaper oh, neat. price on eBay. To me personally, I've always felt like eBay was kind of the flea market of the internet. Sketchy. Yeah. Like, yeah. A, Not, yeah. Well, no, I don't want to say like, we wouldn't want to buy there, but you didn't know what you could get. off the back of the truck or yeah. something. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But it was at least $40 cheaper than Jeez. they were selling it on Prime mm-hmm. on Amazon, so why well, not? You, know? you almost have to be, and this is something that I've heard. I think you probably heard similar discussions because I know we listen to the same tech podcast. You know, the idea that well, when Amazon kills off everything, or Amazon is already doing this thing where it will magically change the price of things higher or right. lower, sometimes higher, right? Uh, depending on one reason or another, if they think you will pay the higher price, they'll go ahead and pop on like five bucks. Like the yeah. scary stuff that they're doing with pricing over on Amazon right mm-hmm. now. So versus, I don't think eBay's in that game. You know, big data driven. Uh, you know, obviously again AI as far as recognizing things like this, but they're not playing that whole like algorithm pricing, putting yeah. stuff in front of you, selling thing in Although the you same don't know that way. With some at least. of that, you know, the with more of the um, what is it, the bidding. That they do now. I know there's a lot of stuff that just usually has a price. Yeah, there's stuff in there that it's, it's just basically a store, right? It's mm-hmm. a store, yeah. but they do still. Do they still do? Because I know for a long time, my wife, when she first found eBay, she was buying cricket cartridges. Um, she's into paper crafting, oh, yeah. mm. so she would go on there, and they would again. God knows where the cartridges came from, but she was buying thirty or forty dollar cartridges for five and ten dollars and a lot of them were on bidding where you'd have to get on you know a couple minutes before the bid end and throw your last couple bids on and for a while there the postman had to think what the heck is going <laughs> on because i think we were getting a package a day that's, six, that's me five with days amazon, a week that's me with amazon sometimes yeah so it's awesome well my my awesome thing of the week is um you know of course there's a lot of things going on around puerto rico um they, that there's a wolf. There's a wolf man at the uh, window right now. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> He's. I just saw his head like pop in over there. But anyways, uh, in Puerto Rico, obviously there's a lot going on. They're trying to figure out how to get that electric grid up. Basically, they need to rebuild the entire thing. Some controversy over like who got the contract for things like that, of course. So um, it was good to see some positive news. And I know we've heard, we've seen things and may have talked about on the show in the past about Project Loon, of course, is out and supplementing some uh, um, LTE coverage uh, to the island as well. Um, and, uh, and, and one of the big stories, and we heard Elon Musk wanting to have a hand in this. And apparently Tesla, uh, there's, of course, stuff in Australia where they're doing uh, that they're doing as well. But uh, Tesla turns power back on at a children's hospital in uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, it's a uh, solar power. It looks like they just covered a, <laughs> the parking lot with solar panels uh, to make this work. And, you know, the usual kind of solar panels plus, uh, you know, their battery technology going on. Uh, so, um, you know, it, this is this is an awesome kind of idea, you know, look at like the kinds of things that they can do in an emerging situation. And if nothing else, like this is a great reason, you know, maybe more, you know, probably, you know, it's a reason Tesla's probably reaching out to do these kinds of things, of course, is it proves that this is feasible and affordable, especially in, in, in cases like this where where just the 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 power grid is just dead over there and just destroyed and was already overly overly outdated to begin with uh so it was really awesome to see this thing happening out there 
Uh, so, uh, you know, props to, to Tessa for doing that. I mean, it's not like they're not getting something out of it, but, you know, but, you know, it, it moves it forward and anything that helps relieve, you know, all the, all the horrible, horrible stuff going down in Puerto Rico around this hurricane situation. Uh, it's good to see these companies, them and Google and others, uh, uh, stepping up with this, with new technology, you know, it, it, you know, did you really think Project Loon would have had such a real application this soon? No. Yeah. Without something like this, like nobody would jump on it, and, mm-hmm. really, and and it's really like we have no other option than let's put balloons in the sky at this point, you know. And, yeah. But I mean, that's the kind of stuff that moves things forward, you know. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it takes something like that, but uh, but at least you know we did have these kinds of technologies available. So awesome. So hey, uh, we uh, of course we got good friends. Uh, they're all dressed up up there at Slice on Broadway tonight. Mm-hmm. At least one of them, I think he was a sailor or something, uh, when I went to pick up my pizza. Uh, uh, but uh, thank you to our friends up there at Slice on Broadway, right here on Broadway, right up the street from us. Also getting trick-or-treaters, I'm sure. I wonder, if, I wonder what they hand out. Do you think they just hand out like pieces of pepperoni or something like that? Mm-hmm. Is that is that is that make sense for a pizza place to trick or treat with, right? Or slices, one or sli- or the slices, other. you know, you know, many, yeah. They have more than just pizza. They also have these amazing pepperoni rolls. They do. You get a pepperoni roll, and you get a pepperoni roll, and everything. So, um, but anyways, fistfuls. <laughs> uh, Ron's Ron's laying down the law. Sorry, you're, you're the enforcer. It. You're the one candy only enforcer out here. It's good to see. You. Thank you. And with that hair, I can't imagine what they're thinking when you're shaking Sorry. your fist at them as well. I can't help it. So you're like, ah, get out of here. Get out of here, you, you whippersnappers. <laughs> but anyways, thank you to our friends. Uh, uh, <laughs> supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good uh, long time here. Up Aaron Beachview, Carnegie, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and as well as their new location in East Liberty. I'm going to have to bring it up for a Wrestling Mayhem show. But uh, I, I talked about our, our one friend of the show that listens, uh, has uh, went to East Liberty and has been talking about kicking the door down. And uh, he gave us a picture about for Halloween, he's going to be he's going to be a slice on Broadway. <laughs> he's going to be a slice on Broadway uh, patron. With a, he had a pizza in hand. And he was kicking his own door down. <laughs> it was amazing. Thank you, everybody, for all the support of our sponsors and everything like that. Uh, and getting the word for our friend Slice. And you know, we're obviously flourishing these days. It's really, really cool to see. And thank you that, to them for supporting us. Uh, PTH underscore Slice on the Twitter if you want to hit them up. All right. We do have a pretty good fan submitted. Uh, of course, Brandon, who's always uh, contributing to our Facebook group with a lot of great, great stories. Um, I didn't dive too much into this. I saw I just kind of skimmed this initially. But apparently GameStop, you know, I walked by a GameStop the other day. Uh, it wasn't like the saddest of saddest malls. No, no, it was the second saddest mall because out of Pittsburgh Mills, the saddest of Century Three, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I walked by GameStop, and I'm just like, you just feel sorry for them at some point, right? Like, when's the last time you bought a physical copy of a game? <laughs> you know, I, I I can't even think of like when I got my Xbox, and there was a stack that came with it that I haven't even put in yet, right? I have pur- when I purchased my Xbox One, yeah, which was the Day One Edition, yeah. I have never put a disc in the drive that's of that amazing. machine. That's amazing. That's so that I mean and, and that's where we're at now, right? Yeah. So I mean I, I want to get a bigger drive attached to it so I can download I all my I just added games. a one terabyte drive to mine. Because I, I flooded it with all my games for gold and now I can't install any of the discs that I came with. So and not that I played it all that much to be quite honest, but but still like it, it's kind of like discouraging when I but get to But you know it. the nice part is is you can uninstall those games and they're still in your library. Yeah, I know, but I just I don't know. I have this like idea of just being able to readily access like stuff like you know, that. No, I bought the one terabyte drive at believe it or not, Aldi's. <laughs> <laughs> it was thirty dollars. Amazing. I could not buy it. In my cloud save it was thirty dollars for a terabyte? For a terabyte drive. Holy I could crap. not buy it. I, I need just to roll couldn't. on the Aldi's and, and for my It was tech laying shopping. there and I picked it up and I looked at it and I was like, hmm. I wonder how much this is. I threw it in the cart, and as I was you know, checking out, I yeah. said, excuse me, can you tell me how much this is? She said $30. I said, just keep going. Yeah. Because <laughs> for $30 for a terabyte drive, and I That's literally amazing. plugged it into my Xbox. Hit, you know, The Xbox saw it and said, what do you want to do with it? And I said, format it and copied everything from the with the 500 
gig yeah. over there and often go I'll run and I want. Yeah. It's a USB three and even if yeah. it fa- even if it fails, everything's in the cloud. You yeah, know? Right. So <laughs> That's great. You can just throw hard drives at these things. That's, that's awesome. Anyways, the point of the story is that GameStop uh, has confirmed that they're going to have a rental service uh, with their Power Pass, and uh, it's it's going to be basically they're going to have uh, they're going to have a rental system with their uh, used games, which is kind of interesting. They've kind of turned into you know another model that died. <laughs> In the long run, right? So, uh, but you know, generally though, it's uh, sixty bucks for uh, six months of unlimited library. That's not bad. If oh yeah, that's not bad. If at you all, don't actually. mind going to the mall, going to your GameStop, <laughs> and actually physically going somewhere. So what's Xbox Game Pass? What's that? What, the Xbox Game Pass is like ten bucks a month for the games that are included there. But I would say if they're just like, oh hey, all the used games in the store. Wow. versus the games that we happen to have available on Game Pass. Man, those Game Pass things are yeah, like the no, Netflix right. of video games. Like, that is amazing. And both systems have that now, right? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. So, I mean, that I, that changes the game on a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Although you're right, though. Every single game in the store, like, you know, that could take... If, you, if you're, you know, multiple system owner... Mm-hmm. yeah. That's oh, you know what I mean. That's kind of attractive. You yeah. think? Yeah. If you're just like, I got a Wii U and a Switch, right? And a you know, and a- you know, because you know how people these people are with games these days. They try you. Know, you beat it, and it's and they trade them in, and as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah. But if you're just straight doing, you know, that that sixty dollar thing, you know, and that's the big thing. Like between you know something like that sixty dollar deal or the ten dollar game pass. It's what I said about that movie pass thing. It's like you just like, oh, I know what my entertainment budget is. Yeah. It's going to be ten dollars. Well, for, since we're a couple, twenty dollars a month for going to the theaters. It's going to be ten dollars for Netflix, ten dollars for for Hulu. You know, I mean, that's you know what you're going to spend every month. Versus if you're doing things piecemeal, buying a game, renting a game, boom, 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 hitting up the red box, you don't know how much you're going to spend, and you're going to have to budget. It's going to be a little harder to budget at that point, right? So, um, no, I think that's awesome. Like, good pivot, maybe for 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 a uh, GameStop. Um, the only cash they have is it's only one title per rental, which is fair, you know, as they say in the article here over on uh, comicbook.com. Um, but still, yes. Yeah, what, what's up? Something going on in the chat? Yeah, Brandon's actually commenting because I, I tagged him since he was the one that shared the story. Mm-hmm. And he's saying it also said you were able to keep the game like after six months. So apparently, what? Rent to own so if you, oh, so so if you, if you just you hold on to it for six months or longer, the game becomes yours. That makes apparently. sense. Well, then you've paid. Six, then you've paid sixty. You've paid sixty dollars oh, yeah. for a for a used, for a used game. game. Yeah. That's, so I mean, who wins in this one? Oh uh, well, come on. Sorry, yeah. Does any company do anything that they don't? Win? Yeah, of course, of course. Well, I, I'm still questionable on Movie Pass. So. Can I, I, I want to pull, point this out. Speaking of the movie pass, I think, Missy, didn't you point out something weird in the terms of service to me? Yeah, they just recently, we got an email that they updated their terms of service. Yeah. And in an effort to keep people from canceling their subscription and then re-upping. This wasn't the point of the terms of service, was it? What, they, they, no, 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 they, just, they, just general. They said it was like, hey, we're just covering something about this, this, and that. But you happen to look into it. You actually start like started reading it, right? Actually, it was like the first line. Yeah, I was going to say it was the first line of the email um, about that there would be a waiting period to reinitiate your your subscription. Oh, so you can and turn it on and turn it off Sorg, as seasons yeah, come along. Yeah, so Sorg said that I... Uh, Pretty much, it was nine months or something like that when you looked into it. So yeah, what you I, have I, a nine month waiting yeah. period. If you cancel the service, you have to wait like nine months in order before you can sign so back on. on. Yeah. So now you never want to just you never want to turn it off because you're like, oh, I'm going to be stuck nine months without it, right? Yeah, like without even the, the the possibility of using it. So, which was kind of interesting. Well, I think it's actually kind of an interesting idea from a business standpoint because we've done that. You know, we've. No Kansas. commitments, though. That's how well, you get by. It. That's why you have no commitments. No, exactly. How many people have you heard say about HBO? Oh, well, Game of Thrones is over. Yeah, so we're going to so cancel. So I'll turn that off exactly. and turn on Showtime because 
something else. Whatever well, show they watch on Showtime's hey, coming. I'm gonna on. go turn it I'm gonna go turn it on so I can watch Thor Ragnarok this month. Yep. Right? Yeah, so the, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You I know. mean that I mean that, that turning on and off is more gonna be more <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's, faces that. Is that's that a just it. So. That's a minion. Yeah, there have there, been a, a couple of minions. There's two minions. There's, there's a pair of them. There's another minion there. What's up, guys? <laughs> but anyways. So, yeah. yeah um, no, I, I thought that was kind of an interesting way to keep people subscribed. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. I don't know, and I'm not sure. It, it probably tells you when you try to cancel, too. Oh, I'm sure oh, that yeah. they would. I'm sure there's like a big red thing. Like I went, I went to try to play around because last time I, I was, I was just like, ah, oh, I don't know about this fifty bucks for Adobe. They gave me like two months free. And I was like, I wonder if they'll do that to me again this month. And they're like, hey, yeah, if you cancel, you, we, you still owe us the two hundred and sixty dollars left on your contract. I'm like, okay, we're just gonna stick around, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, but um, yeah, no, no, that's that's uh, that, that's interesting. Well, it, you know, again, interesting to see what GameStop's doing. Else, a lot of people still use Redbox. Some people like that physical copy kind of situation. It's going away though. Less and less are going to need it. Like this is a thing that's going to be great when you live in the middle of nowhere, like Clearfield, where DVDs still do good for some reason because uh, nobody has internet, right? So you know this this ability to to physically do that, you know, it, it makes sense. I don't know if it's going to work a lot for. Like I, my, the nearest GameStop is like a pain in the ass for me to get to <laughs> that I can think of, right? Uh, yeah. So I, I don't see that happening. Do you see game stores going the way of comic book shops? Like they're a weird niche thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think to be honest, I you know we uh, New Dimension Comics here. Uh, I was just at the New Dimension at the Mills, right? And I know they were taking advantage of all the available space of Century 3, where now they have game tables and things, right? I think, which, instead of uh, GameStop being this boutique shop, boutique, I mean, it's like a closet in most ha- in most malls. Um, I, I think if they were smart, GameStop should turn into looking for group, where you can actually go in and play. Some mm-hmm. of these games, you know, and then and then also buy it too. Like I, I feel like, and I know there's something else GameStop is working on, um, kind of widely, like like you know online services and things like that. So, well, my my question with the people going in and trying it out, mm-hmm. I get this new game. You've you've done this before. You got me a game and I beat it in like two hours. Yeah, I rented Tekken 4 for her and I was going to get her like the next week for her birthday to actually buy it for her. She already unlocked like most of the characters. I'm just like, well, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, so what's to prevent people d- from doing that sort of stuff? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, there's, there's stuff like that, but still like it's not like you're playing for free. I'm thinking that looking for group model where you're going and paying like, you know, per hour to go play things. And then that's like more money you're making off of the same games, right? So, no, I definitely. So, are we getting a visitor? No, that was your thing. Though. We're out. Are we out of candy? We're out of candy. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Out of candy. Oh wow! Well, well, it's seven thirty, so technically we're done anyways with with trick or treat. The kids hold the poor kids hold the bowl up over there. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. oh, we're out. I'm sorry, kid. Take him a piece. You want of a slice. slice of pizza? You want some pizza? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, um, what are you hitting? digging digging in the stash now? Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Yeah, no. Hey, I say it's seven thirty. It, it lasted, yeah. right? So that's actually pretty impressive. I know the last year that we gave out candy. Well, we didn't even have candy. We gave out glow necklaces, and uh, we had two hundred and fifty of them, and they were gone within the first hour and fifteen minutes of trick or treating. Hey, Kraus, I know you're really excited about the new uh, iOS update. Can you tell us what's going on with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. John and I had this conversation earlier <laughs> today. So um, iOS 11.1 was released. Mm-hmm. And for our bank, um, we had some issues that we've been waiting for this update to come out. And I just thought it was very interesting if you show the screenshot there. Um the literally the tagline on the uh, update was um, iOS 11.1 introduces 70 new emojis. Yay. In- and includes <laughs> bug fixes and other improvements. Like, really? The 70 emojis is the most important part of this update? Oh, he, obviously. He says wearing that hair. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Well, I'm wearing the hair because I was asked to. So, um, uh, but you know, but I just thought it was interesting, which led us down a road to, to, of an emoji discussion. And this week, um, the CEO of Google sent out a text message about, I guess there were some com- complaints over the hamburger emoji that Google uses right now. Um, because the cheese is on the bottom of the burger, Mm. which caused some uh, uproar. And for the CEO to actually come out and say this will be a priority on Monday, I just thought was a very hysterical thing. And you can look at the link there. It shows the various types of the Google emoji. Or just looking at the offensive emoji. Oh, here here it is. I was on the wrong one. There you you go. You read that as, and I, I read it completely as like satire. Yeah. It was complete just... Yeah, we're we're gonna yeah just right, get right out yeah right the first thing on Monday morning, <laughs> but I just thought it was interesting to see the article and to to see how the different companies over the years have uh, displayed the hamburger, which is they all have cheese, mm-hmm. so technically it's a cheeseburger, but we have it as the hamburger emoji. But so the, so what's the controversy here? The is cheese it, is on the bottom, and it shouldn't be. It's where the cheese is. So yes. we're talking about the Google one. Cheese is on the bottom. Yes, this is a problem. It, yep. That's the problem. Well, when you're in a multicultural uh, work environment where the, the hamburgers are different, also it's been pointed out that uh, this is not how beer works. Actually, no, that is a problem because the, the, the beer is half empty. The beer is half empty, and there's still foam on the top. I know, which I thought that was great also. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. Talk about phoning it in. Oh, oh, but I'm pumped. Thank you, Katie. Yes. For that, you get to talk about the iPhone. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I, along with a certain Sorg, have been having this conversation with ourselves, and we're just just fighting back and forth. Like, I think I'm okay. I I think think I need a new one. I don't know yet. I, I, I resolved. I need a new one. Okay. I've, I'm absolutely. I cannot deal with this piece of poop anymore. What are you on right now? This is my six. Okay. So I'm I'm a few back. I, I've done very yeah, well. I've had it for a long time. Only I've, I've like a it. three, four year old phone. So, but it's so funny because I used to switch out phones every one to two years for a right, while. Right. You know, for years when you know first cell phones first came out, it was yeah. constantly new tech, new tech, new tech, and and then it's I've been a little bit better as an adult, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Um, I've resolved that I, I want to stick with the iPhone because I'm old and crotchety and don't want to learn a new operating system. She says wearing those ears. Yep. And on a tech show, <laughs> and <laughs> unironically, yeah. on a tech show, and the question has been: Is the eight plus or the X? Which way do we go? Because my biggest thing is, I sure I text, I do whatever. My the camera, the camera is huge for me. That's very important for what I do and what I, you know, videos and photos are important for what I do at work and at home. So that's my big thing. Like I don't care about other stuff. <laughs> but so the question has been: Does the eight plus camera? going to be good enough for me or do I want the X? And a, a certain Sorg has had the same conversation with himself over and over again. And we've gone back and forth. And so I found this article in TechCrunch where a one of their reporters took their iPhone 8 Plus and the X to Disney, which was a great like example because he was like, I've seen a lot of people test them you know, at home and very carefully. And he's like, no, I'm taking it to Disney. And he did this before with an earlier version of the phone and they asked him to do it again. So he takes the phone to Disney and he's talking about all the great features and some like the cool things I didn't realize with the face recognition. uh, One of the cool things it does and I've realized is I get a lot of notifications on my phone constantly. Some of them I like, it's very hard to set control your settings to where you get previews of certain things and preview not getting previews of certain things. Cause I don't want everybody seeing my text messages, but I like getting previews of other things. This with the, the, the uh, rec- face recognition if it looks like if my re- notifications were up and it looked at Krauss, it would just say notification notification when it sees my face the actual full notification oh, opens that's cool i didn't even realize that's that was an very cool. option wow. until this article but the thing that was the big seller for me was if you scroll about part way down and he takes a photo of the um guardians of the galaxy the new ride down there mm-hmm. on his iphone 8 plus and his iphone x and oh, oh my God, 
the difference is just unreal. You need to pull up the picture in this article. There's like Krauss pointed out. There's a section where there's it's just dark gray in and, the and, iPhone. And, and I don't know how much is going to come across. We're, we're we broadcast and record this at seven twenty, mm-hmm. so perfect for Krauss's uh, TV at home. Yeah, uh, but uh, but no, it is pretty stunning when you look at it. And there's some great pictures here um, all around. Also, <laughs> oh yeah. Also, bacon. also he takes pictures of bacon. Who doesn't like bacon? So they're just, and then some of the ones, if you get a little right below the bacon photo, are some of the ones he took on the ride, Mm -hmm. which are just stunning. Mm -hmm. And so I think I'm back on the X bandwagon. Mm -hmm. Do you have any concerns over the 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 face? Like, Eh. I just the fingerprint just works so well. Mm -hmm. It did, but now you don't even have to do that, you know. (sighs) And as long as the face works, and what's what's going on? Hold on. Sorry, since we're talking about a face, yes. Sword, you need to go to the Twitter, okay. to the Awesome Cast Twitter, because we have a notification. Uh oh. As you notice, no offense, Krauss, there is someone missing from the sofa. Your your counterpart at Big Bank International oh. Incorporated. Uh, he has a great picture with his son, and the two. That's of, right. Today's trigger. Yeah, today is trick or treat. They're out. They're and out. And he is dressed as, of course, Iron Man. <laughs> and his son is the oh Hulk. that's awesome oh, that's amazing so the avengers have assembled and he let us know i got a called away on a mission hashtag avengers assemble happy halloween see you in a week and hopefully sorg is going to bring up this photo so that yeah yeah no how, no we were, we were looking at it as you were talking about it nice awesome so yeah sorry i had, had to chime in for for that no not a problem not a problem at all so that's awesome so, okay, what else do we have here, guys? Now I got to get back to my notes. Uh, no, so you're, you're completely on the iPhone X bandwagon. Talks. So, what's that? <laughs> yeah. What's happening? No respect. This is a confused term. The Rodney Dangerfield of podcasts. Yeah, what? You know, I finally get on my roll, and she just slams the door on me. Man. <laughs> Anyways, iPhone X, Katie. <laughs> yes. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it anymore. Although I was poking around and I was really close to hitting that buy button. And I'm like, no, I got stuff I, I got to take care of. Look, look, uh, literally in the next window over. Oh, look at this. But also. What is this? Oh, <laughs> you're, you're, you're on AT&T, right? <laughs> no, I'm on Verizon. Oh, you're on Verizon. Because AT&T's got a really good deal to Did throw it. Like this song been in reality. It's like, okay, wow. so. It, 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 I'm, I'm in there and it's already like 70 80 bucks for the tax you got to pay up front right mm-hmm. plus they're like oh I, you you'll you know I, I stretched out the payments as far as possible i'm getting the hundred or 256 gig version so mm-hmm. it's like the most expensive iphone possible and it's like 38 bucks a month right that is definitely something to consider and this is not something that i used to do mm-hmm. hmm. this phone is the hot the big one for this phone mm-hmm. 128 is the biggest yeah i have a friend at work who's who because he resells his devices, mm-hmm. you buy high memory, buy memory high, because mm-hmm. they hold a better value. resell value. Oh, well, it's weird because you either get a sixty-four or two fifty-six. Yeah, 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 it's a pretty no, big jump. Yeah, but, I mean, right. I would do, but it's a hundred fifty dollar difference, so or a five dollar a month difference. Yeah, yeah, because I'm looking at monthly. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, but the AT and T <laughs> has it's a floofy. Dog. Oh, we got a floofy dog in the window. It's a floofy dog. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can see that out there. There he is. There he is. But uh, they're probably getting up for the parade, so we'll have to wrap so we can see that. But uh, but no, but but if on AT&T, they're like, oh, hey, would you like an Apple Watch? Why, sure I would. Mm. Uh, and it's like $10 more. Like It was like 99 bucks, and then it was going to add another like 10 bucks like payment each month, plus another 10 bucks for having the line. So just like, you know, maybe. And then I pulled back. So... <laughs> It's gonna be a. I'm gonna almost hit that button like multiple times before finally hopping. But I also and I and I think most will. I don't want 1.0 of this. I don't want the first ones off the line. I'm kind of okay not having gone it at 3 a.m. There is time. something actually to be said about. Well, I'm going through it right now with the Pixel. Yeah. You are. You are. I, you, you, but you know that, and you have and, right, and you know that the, the you know it's going to take care of it. Even I, I said the same thing to Chilla, and he's like, "Well, that one year of uh, of uh, 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 warranty is going to take care of anything that happens." I was like, "Yeah, but you know, if it's a big issue, I'd rather wait the extra month 
get it after they've, they've kind of worked through those initial weird issues that they have. Yeah. Because, oh. I mean, there's been ones where that phone that you have uh, is coming in the box with Burnin <laughs> on some cases. Oh, yeah. Like, I've heard about that. Sorry, Well, Katie. and look oh, what happened even with the um, Samsung. What was it? Right, uh, right. The Note 8. The Note 7? No, uh, no, yeah, Note 7. The Note 7, you know, the uh, fires. Mm-hmm. You know, the, that just goes to show sometimes it is better to wait. And it's so brand new. I, I think on this case, I'm okay waiting a little bit. But, you know. Yeah, the BlackBerry Storm and the BlackBerry Q, they both, they, they were my, you will not go for the first model anymore oh, phones. Like, that yes. was when I stopped going for things right yeah, away. You were a BlackBerry girl. I was. Oh. So the Storm, I loved the Storm. Because mm-hmm. that was one of the first touch screens that was out there for Verizon especially. And that was, mm-hmm. so I jumped in on that. And oh, I went through four of them. Jeez. Within the first year because it, the technology was so shoddy. Mm. And I remember them saying, "Oh, it's great, great." And then you talk to like somebody from Verizon years later, they're like, "Oh, that was a piece of shit." <laughs> it's like, thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's your? Are you going to hold on for it a little bit, or you're like, I gotta get one as soon as I can? I know you're waiting like five to six weeks at least. If you yeah, it's today. like I think uh, December. Let me see, December thirteenth at this point. So it's a Christmas mm. present. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Happy Christmas to you. So, and it's still not going to be. I'm thinking it's probably going to be to them as the second round at this point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you, yeah. If you order now, just like, hey, I got it in. I got mine earmarked. You know, be by the end of the year. So. Sure. At this point, though, would you be better off just trying to sneak into the store, and see finding find out one? what day the shipments come in? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And maybe slip maybe into the have, AT&T maybe, store. Maybe, store maybe we'll just have to talk store. to our spies at Apple and see what happens. Yeah, we have a few of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe. And I don't know. I'm, I'm always looking asking. for any reason to visit that new store up in South Hills Village because it's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Was so, that a hint? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink to the show producer maybe a little bit maybe a little bit uh but anyways no uh you know it's yeah it's it's although i'm not in a hurry to ditch this yeah the six s is fine i'm like really not feeling the the crunch on it i said the same thing with the 5s and just like how did i even um but uh but really like i it feels like more and more i feel like it's the this is the my 2013 macbook pro <laughs> that is just fine for day to day you know and my wife's the same way mm-hmm. um i keep showing her the new phones uh, we've talked about the new phones and you know she's just okay with what she she would like some more space mm-hmm. and she gets upset now this phone doesn't have it but my my old android device had a you know uh micro sd slot mm-hmm. where i could mm-hmm. pop some more memory in there when i started running out of space and she's like well, why can't you do that to my phone hot Doesn't tip we- hot tip hot, hot iphone tip yeah uh don't try to bring your iphone in your pocket if you wear jeans to a wrestling match okay i had a guy hand me his iphone this weekend because <laughs> he, oh, he's no. just like yo dude comes in full street gear basically and just had his giant you know seven or eight plus phone and he just like puts it on the on the mat next to like in front of me i'm, I'm right side with camera and he just looks at me and i'm just like oh i get it i got this yeah <laughs> so uh, a little bit of a, a occupational hazard there for wrestlers i guess now uh, have they talked about any initial numbers sales numbers or are they off for the, the x i'll oh, probably not mm-hmm. probably yeah. not no. I, haven't seen anything uh, I haven't heard anything on the Mac shows, although I guess they just record uh, Mac break today. So yeah. we'll see you know, when I go listen to that tomorrow. But as of why well, there hasn't been one that I've listened to since the release, other okay. than Twit. And I don't think they had any numbers for that. So I don't, do they even put those out? They only put those out there if they're really crazy or is maybe you get it on the quarterly and they just did quarterly numbers. Okay. So cause I think they were all like Thursday, maybe. So I don't know. All right. Uh, so now that we've helped Katie yeah. reconcile getting her new phone, <laughs> I love this article. Uh, Nissan's uh, electric vehicles will swap engine noises for a song uh, because, you know, the biggest problem, and I saw this when I was uh, shooting the uh, Formula uh, electric cars, um, you don't hear them coming. Oh. And you really need to hear them coming because <laughs> you don't want to be in the way, right? Uh, when those guys are coming at you at 30 miles an hour. Uh, but no, according to Engadget, this is one of the things that they're looking on doing uh, to kind of 
uh, replace that engine noise. So again, when you're crossing the street, you hear them coming. Um, the uh, U.S. Department of Transportation has decreed that all the hybrid and electric vehicles uh, must make a noise to protect pedestrians. And uh, they said that uh, they, they, they're going to be um, you know, having a tone and a pitch, which a vehicle speeds up and slows down and everything. So, um, these are, and they're calling it Canto, apparently. So it's kind of an interesting way to solve the problem, to add a little bit of uh, music to these devices. Um, I guess, I guess versus the revving we're used to hearing all the times in the city. I'm just, you know, I'm just hold, hearing all these tunes swing I'd by the bad neighborhoods was, during rush hour, right? My brain, I was thinking... You know, if I live next mm. to a highway, would I rather hear engine noise? It'll be a musical or weird city. little like tunes. Are we talking like ice cream truck sounds? Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, are we talking ice cream truck or are we talking top forty? You know. Have- <laughs> well, here's here's my thought on it. I'm walking down the street and I'm I'm looking to cross and I hear a song. Am I going to realize that that's a vehicle approaching me? But oh. eventually you'll have heard the song enough times that you'll be like, oh, that's the get yeah. out of the way song. Oh, yeah. right. That's the until g- somebody rolls by playing the song actually on their radio or iPod yeah, or whatever. And how many get out of the way songs will there be? I love I love that it will prevent about 2,400 pedestrian injuries each year uh, once uh, yeah, once all hybrids sold in the U.S. are uh, properly equipped. The song says its own sound system is also made to, quote, enrich the aural environment of the typical city street. Hmm. Hmm. Now, here's here's another question. Is the sound going to be synced vehicle to vehicle, or are you going to wind up having this just ridiculous sounding noise if there are more than one of them in a location? Hmm. <laughs> no, it's going to sound like just like when you're going down the bar street and like there's every song coming out the front door. Okay, because I was thinking together. I was thinking kind of like um, around, you know, the row 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 your oh, boat the next no. car is row 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 your oh, boat that it just kind of goes well there's 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 the next okay go video first of all uh <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah no that could be fun so uh all that any other stories you guys want to touch on before we get out of here how about the amazon the amazon oh yeah we do have to talk about the yeah. amazon key what's going on with the amazon key well so it's a i guess a suite of products there is a camera and a keypad that you attach to your home. I guess the camera would face towards the door. And then the keypad, um, when the Amazon delivery agent shows up at your home, when they scan the barcode for the device, you will get a notification that they're at your door. And then you can allow them access into your home to place your package in the house covered by the camera. And then, um, you know, thanks. Have a nice day. No more stolen package off the porch. And you can also let uh, service providers, again, uh, Amazon approved service providers in, like cleaning companies or housekeepers or things like that, right? Uh, so interesting idea. Maybe not great when you have a free roaming dog, uh, but uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool idea if you trust all of the services and companies involved. Do you trust Amazon as a company to have a digital key to your home? Here's here's my question. Amazon has been outsourcing recently to drivers that. Mm-hmm. And this no. is the other thing. If, oh, if right. it, it has to be, this will be Amazon delivery people. Yeah. So, so it's only available becomes, in certain cities and certain so places. So it's not like UPS. No. Yeah. No. And so the question becomes, again, how are these people vetted? by Amazon to make sure right. that they're not going to rob my house while well, they're I would think they're all bonded, I would think. I would hope so. But... Yeah, yeah. I mean, as it is and I didn't realize this uh until Chachi pointed out to me. Did you know when you get an Amazon package, they do take a picture and if you go back into your order, there's a picture of your package sitting on your st- stoop. I didn't realize that until he told me because he was looking into now Amazon looking. Flex. I'm looking. Yeah, now you want to look, right? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm where'd looking. you put this thing? I'm like, holy crap, there's a picture of my porch. I, just I didn't had even because you delivered you're not, the other day. Yeah, you're not going to go back, but it was from an Amazon provider, right? So, like, that's the only way, of course. I always get sad when I see that USPS is delivering my package. Like, I just, I, it, I do because I don't know what's going to happen with oh, it. Oh, too funny. Because we, well, we've, we've had some pretty 
rough, uh, bad mail carrier problems in the city <laughs> or in this neighborhood sp specifically lately. So uh, that has been not helpful. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it's a big, I mean, it's a big security um, opening <laughs> for you. Oh, crap. It is my house. It was. <laughs> My porch. My That's house. awesome. I had, I had no idea. Is the Hello Kitty flag there? No, in it's the at shot? the door. No? Okay. But still, like that that's pretty great, huh? So <laughs> But yeah, so that but that way you can prove because um no, no, because I think uh, Chachi had signed up and tried Amazon Flex driving for a while. And and it was like, you know, hey, somebody said they didn't get the package, but I completely like there, there's a picture of their package on their stoop. They should have received it, right? Um, it, it helps that saying, "Hey, this happened." And but you know, on top of all this, if you have a camera on things, um, you can keep an eye on what happens to those packages too. There was just a story: uh, somebody in one of the Pittsburgh neighborhoods, or like, yeah, somebody like took this package blatantly daylight front porch with a camera right above the door. We Which got have. everything, right? What's that? I have a camera over my front door. Yeah. Well, not over my front door, but it sees my front porch. Now, I've never, knock on wood, had, had any problems, but I'm also on a back street, right? I would not have a package left on my stoop here on this like main street up here at the office. No. But, uh, but at home, I, I don't see much problem with it. I've right? had a tailgate grill disappear, and I don't know if it ever made it to the house. <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, I, they're like, would it be in your... I'm like, no. They're like, she's like, you're right. It wouldn't be in your bushes. <laughs> It was huge, and I don't. I like I said, I never. I don't know if it made it to the house or, oh, or not. Did they replace it? Yes. Okay. Amazon was wonderful. Amazon and that's, has the, been that's the other thing. Amazon package. is always great about that. There was there was like some kind of Christmas present that didn't come one time, and and we called them up and they sent it right. They're like, "Oh, I'll be there in two days." Sorry about that. You know. Yeah. Um, like they're 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 great. I mean, because that's that's one of the risks, and they they they're kind of uh, have that allotted. You're like we are going to lose X amount of packages every year, <laughs> so. Yeah, we have to be ready to kind of take care of that. I've just recently had an experience with returning something mm -hmm. to Amazon, and I was very impressed by the whole process. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The biggest thing is, like, what's the reason for your returning and what is it, too? Right? Because sometimes yeah. they'll, they'll do a restocking fee, but generally, usually pretty okay. You're just, yeah. If you're just like, man, I got the wrong one, <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll take it back. Not a problem. Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. I've had hard drives fail on me after, like, a week. I'm like, dude, this... this you know, and they'll credit the account. I did it like twice in a row here. So it's interesting. It, 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 and that's why they're kind of kicking everybody's ass right now. So uh, so are, are you ready to get an Amazon key, Ron? If I had a f foyer, foyer, mm -hmm. however the word is pronounced, foyer. Foyer. I think I would. But yeah. literally, that when that door opens, you're in my living room. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and my wife works later shifts usually during the day and stuff so you know if a package was being dropped off at 10 o'clock in the morning she could potentially still be home and i i, I just don't know i don't know if i'm comfortable uh, you know don't get me wrong i don't like having my packages left on the front porch hence why i have the camera out there to right watch right them. right you at least have something to keep an eye out but to actually let someone Mm, no, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Oh, what about you, Katie? Mm -mm. No, 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 no dice. No. <laughs> Other no. than the cat situation. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can, she oh, can yeah, go. Right. Attack he, cat. The, the cat. I have two cats at home. Also, I would be terrified. You know, if one of them got out or something. I mean, as long mm -hmm. as she goes with the person, it's fine. Just. <laughs> 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 New home. Bye bye. Sign. Please take my cat. Yeah. <laughs> the cat's free. Exactly. So yeah, and I'm not you know between the animals and everything, I'm I'm not I'm not ready for that. Plus, I don't have Wi-Fi in my house anymore, so I probably can't do a lot of these solutions. So there's that. I gotta get the cell phone version of it, which I think AT and T was doing some for a while, like on three G. Last I looked, but anyways, well, this crazy dress crew, great great uh, talk with you guys tonight about the tech and such. Is it time to go watch a parade? It's time to go watch a, a Halloween parade Yay. for sure. So, Ron Krause, where can people find you online? Crazy Krause on Twitter. I don't tweet. I, I lurk. So, um, <laughs> But I don't really have a whole lot to say unless I come on here. Talk about Google things. Uh, Facebook, Ron Krause. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm out there. Or Ronald Krause. Some form of Krause. You'll find mm -hmm. me. My smiling mug. Um, yeah, that's it. Go to work every day. Come home. Rinse, repeat. Play some Xbox. That's my life. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome. Uh, Katie Dudas, Kate Edders on the Twitter. Hi. Hi. One more week at a scare house. There you go. It's the Lights Out edition. Uh, so what do they do now, for Lights Out? Uh, all dark, limited sounds, glow stick. Limited sounds, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's just like a whole new animal. Okay. It's fun. So you let the real ghosts scare people. Yeah. This is. This, I've had most of my experiences as an actor, uh, paranormal experiences as an actor, when it's been turned out the lights. Wow. Because you really notice things. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Awesome. <laughs> and of course, producer Missy's hanging out too. She's I'm doing lurking. things with us, lurking on the sorgatronmedia.com. I'm, I'm at sorgatron on the Twitter. Please check out everything awesomecast.com. We're going to have an interview, uh, probably not an awesome chat going up this week, but we're going to be recording, I think, Friday. So keep an eye out for that, too, and all the great stuff going on over at awesomecast.com. Uh, we'll see you guys. Uh, thank you to, hey, thanks to you to the awesome chat room. I saw some new names. Uh, Charles hanging out in there. Uh, Brandon's hanging out, and everybody else throughout the night. Doug, I saw, popped in, too. Uh, wheels of course uh russell what's up and uh we'll thank you to our awesome chat room you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com